Eden Harper of Married at First Sight sobs as she talks about Jaden Anand leaving her after final vows. Eden Harper of Married at First Sight opened her about her abrupt separation with Jaden Anand, shedding tears as she spoke. Friends, welcome to our lifetime treasures. In today's special video, you will get the latest update on Married at First Sight. So let's begin. And stay with us by subscribing the channel. The 27-year-old broke down in tears in a teaser for her appearance on the Sit With Us podcast, revealing that the break had left her stunned and perplexed. It's difficult to talk about it openly, an emotional Eden remarked. She said, There are just so many questions, and most of them I never really got answers to. All I really wanted was for him to sit there and admit that he fucked up and made a mistake. Last month, Eden revealed her unexpected breakup with Jaden Anod. After eight months together, Eden, who first met her partner on season 11, announced the news on Instagram. I really did that with the intention of it being forever when I made the decision to be with Jaden at Final Vows, she said. After the experiment, Jaden and I spent many months together. Cub received a father, and I was given a whole new family for which I am really thankful. I regret to inform you that we lost touch with each other towards the conclusion of the show's run. The truth is that I did not pick the person I chose. Although I'm unhappy that what you witnessed didn't materialize in the actual world, I will always be grateful for this experiment, the individuals I encountered, the knowledge I gained, and the personal development it brought about. She thanked followers at the end of the message. Subsequently, Jaden posted a message along these lines, In life, things don't always turn out the way you had hoped. Eden and I returned to the Gold Coast after the experiment and carried on enjoying our shared life and getting to know one another more every day. Sadly, though, our relationship broke up not long before the experiment's broadcast concluded. Even though it's sad, I'm grateful that I experienced this with such a wonderful woman and a handsome son, D-O-G-E-M up of the eye. You will both always have a second family on the Gold Coast, he said in closing. Ethan subsequently revealed to Daily Mail Australia that she was left confused and unable to get in touch with Anod after the abrupt split. Everything went well. There are ups and downs in each relationship, I believe, but for me it was entirely unexpected. There was undoubtedly a blind side, she clarified. I simply felt that he was choosing not to be with me, that he didn't want to be with me, the way everything came apart for us when he broke up with me. Eden disclosed that Jaden split up with me that night, and then, yeah, I suppose we've scarcely spoken since then, despite efforts to heal the relationship or at least obtain closure. The Calm Before the Storm Eden Harper stood in front of the mirror, her reflection framed by the soft glow of the vanity lights. The studio apartment, usually her sanctuary, felt more like a prison cell tonight. Her mind swirled with a thousand thoughts, but one overshadowed them all, Jaden Anod. She took a deep breath, trying to steady herself. The final vows had seemed so promising, a culmination of the journey they had embarked on in front of millions. They had promised each other love and commitment, a future filled with possibilities. Yet, in a cruel twist of fate, Jaden had decided to walk away. The cameras had stopped rolling, but the drama of reality TV lingered on. Eden felt the weight of every unspoken word, every shattered dream, pressing down on her. As she moved to the small kitchenette, the familiar routine of making tea offered a momentary distraction. The kettle whistled, a shrill reminder of the chaos in her mind. She poured the hot water over the tea bag, watching as the dark liquid swirled and settled. Her thoughts drifted back to the final vows ceremony, replaying Jaden's words over and over. I don't think we are meant to be, he had said, his voice steady but his eyes betraying the conflict within. I care about you, Eden, but I don't see a future for us. Those words had cut deeper than she had expected. Despite the show's orchestrated nature, she had believed in the possibility of a real connection. She had opened herself up, made herself vulnerable, only to have her heart broken in front of millions of viewers. Eden sank into the worn-out armchair by the window, the cup of tea cradled in her hands. The city lights outside blinked and shimmered, oblivious to her pain. She knew she had to face the world again, to explain what had happened, but for now, she allowed herself a moment of solitude. The public eye. The next morning, Eden woke to a flurry of messages and missed calls. Friends, family, and even strangers reached out, offering support and condolences. The media frenzy surrounding her breakup with Jaden was in full swing. Headlines screamed their split, dissecting every moment of their relationship, 
speculating on the reasons behind Jaden's decision. Eden scrolled through social media, feeling a mix of anger and exhaustion. Everyone seemed to have an opinion, and most of them were far from kind. The trolls were out in full force, picking apart her appearance, her personality, her every move. Why do I even bother? She muttered, tossing her phone aside. A knock on the door interrupted her thoughts. She opened it to find her best friend, Mia, standing there with a sympathetic smile and a bag of pastries. I figured you could use some company, Maya said, stepping inside. Eden managed a weak smile. You're a lifesaver. They settled on the couch, the comforting aroma of freshly baked goods filling the air. Maya gave her a reassuring squeeze on the shoulder. How are you holding up? She asked gently. Eden sighed. I don't even know where to start. It just hurts so much. I thought Jaden and I had something real. Maya nodded, her expression understanding. I know it feels like the end of the world right now, but you're stronger than you think. You'll get through this. Eden appreciated the sentiment, but the pain was still too raw. It's just so humiliating, having everything fall apart in front of everyone. I feel like such a fool. You're not a fool, Maya insisted. You took a chance, and that takes courage. Besides, Jaden's the one who walked away. That says more about him than it does about you. They spent the morning talking, Maya's presence a soothing balm to Eden's wounded heart. By the time Maya left, Eden felt a glimmer of hope. Maybe, just maybe, she could find a way to move on. A world of opinions, Eden decided to take a walk to clear her head. She donned her sunglasses and a baseball cap, hoping to go unnoticed. The city buzzed with activity, and she found solace in the anonymity of the crowd. As she strolled through the park, her mind wandered to the other couples from the show. Some had found happiness, while others had crashed and burned spectacularly. The experiment was a gamble, and she had known that going in, but it didn't make the outcome any less painful. A couple of teenagers recognized her, whispering and pointing. She pretended not to notice, quickening her pace. Fane was a double-edged sword, and right now it felt like more of a curse than a blessing. Her phone buzzed in her pocket. She considered ignoring it, but decided to check the message. It was from her mother, a simple yet heartfelt text. We love you and are here for you, no matter what. Come home if you need to. Eden smiled, her eyes misting over. Family had always been her rock, and she knew they would support her through this. The idea of going home was tempting, but she wasn't ready to face their concerned faces just yet. As she walked, she reflected on the journey that had brought her here. Married at first sight had been a whirlwind, pushing her out of her comfort zone and into the spotlight. She had grown in ways she hadn't expected, learned more about herself than she ever thought possible. Despite the heartbreak, she didn't regret the experience. It had shown her what she was capable of, even if the outcome wasn't what she had hoped for. Confronting the past Back in her apartment, Eden decided it was time to confront her feelings head-on. She couldn't avoid the world forever. She turned on her laptop and opened the draft of a blog post she had started but never finished. Writing had always been a cathartic outlet for her, and maybe sharing her story would help her heal. She hesitated, fingers hovering over the keyboard. How much should she reveal? The temptation to lash out at Jaden was strong, but she knew that wouldn't help anyone, least of all herself. Instead, she decided to focus on her own journey, the highs and lows, the lessons learned. Love is a gamble, she typed, and sometimes, despite our best efforts, it doesn't work out. Jaden and I entered this experiment with open hearts and genuine intentions. We both hoped for a happily ever after, but life had other plans. She wrote about the good times, the laughter, and the moments of connection that had given her hope. She also wrote about the doubts and the growing distance, the signs that things weren't as perfect as they seemed. By the time she finished, she felt a sense of relief. She had poured her heart out, and in doing so, had taken the first step towards healing. Eden published the post and closed her laptop. She didn't know what kind of response it would receive, but that wasn't the point. Writing it had been for her a way to process her emotions and begin to move forward. A new beginning. Over the next few weeks, Eden focused on rebuilding her life. She threw herself into work, took up new hobbies, and reconnected with friends she had neglected during the show. The pain of Jaden's departure still lingered, but it was slowly fading, replaced by a sense of resilience. She received messages from fans and strangers who had read her blog post, offering support and sharing their own stories of heartbreak and recovery. 
It was comforting to know she wasn't alone, that others had faced similar struggles and come out stronger on the other side. One day, as she was browsing through her emails, a message from a producer caught her eye. They were casting for a new reality show and wanted her to audition. The idea of stepping back into the limelight was daunting, but Eden was intrigued. This could be a chance to redefine herself, to show the world, and herself, that she was more than just a failed experiment. She decided to go for it. The audition was nerve-wracking, but she felt a spark of excitement she hadn't felt in a long time. When she received the call that she had been chosen, she realized that this was her opportunity to take control of her narrative. Eden stepped into the future with a renewed sense of purpose. She was no longer defined by her past, by the heartbreak and the public scrutiny. She was her own person, ready to embrace whatever came next. The healing process. As the months went by, Eden continued to grow and heal. She immersed herself in the new show, finding joy in the creative process and the camaraderie of her new castmates. The experience was different from married at first sight. There were no high-stakes romantic entanglements, just a group of people working together to create something special. The show focused on adventure and personal growth, pushing the participants to step out of their comfort zones and face their fears. For Eden, it was a breath of fresh air. She felt her confidence returning, her sense of self strengthening with each challenge she conquered. She also began seeing a therapist, something she had resisted for a long time. The sessions helped her unpack her feelings, understand her patterns, and build healthier relationships. She learned to forgive herself for the perceived failures and to appreciate the strength it had taken to put herself out there in the first place. One evening, after a particularly rewarding day of filming, Eden sat down to write again. This time, her words flowed easily, reflecting the peace she had found within herself. Life doesn't always go according to plan, she wrote. Sometimes, so guys, I am finishing the video right now. Subscribe the channel and click